The first VPN on my list is the CyberGhost. It has been described as the best free VPN service to have. Now the CyberGhost is used in countries like Saudi Arabia to break through their very tough proxy servers. The issue is that you may not be able to download the program by going directly into the URL because it has been blocked in countries like Saudi Arabia or the Middle East. So you will need to get in touch with someone uh, abroad so that they can send it to you via email or FTP. According to CyberGhost, the free CyberGhost service is being subsidized by their premium customers. The company has servers in the United Kingdom as well as the United States, plus many European countries stretching all the way to Russia and the Ukraine. Now the free service offers access to over 14 countries, while the Premium and the Premium Plus allow users to choose from a range of over 24 countries. CyberGhost claimed that it does not limit bandwidth for, the, for their free users which is true because I've checked it and it is fast enough. From my experience, this is a fantastic service to have and has been recommended to me by a lot of my friends as well. There are many ways in which you're disadvantaged with the free product. When you are connected, you'll be logged out after three hours of browsing, so be careful. Although you can try to log in again immediately. Another restriction is that you can't use the free iPad app with the free account. You need to upgrade uh, to the premium account. In contrast to most of the other VPN service providers that offer a free service and one or more paid for alternatives, Private Tunnel has just the one product offering. This attracts no monthly fee, although you are limited to using just 100 megabytes of data each month. When you bear in mind that this is would be considered a very small monthly allowance for a smartphone, you get an idea of how restrictive it would be for a desktop or a laptop PC. To go beyond this data cap, you have to pay your subscription and there, there are prices for 50 gig, 100 gig, 500 gig and so on. Because charging is based purely on data use, there is no limit on the number of devices you can attach into this service. The third free VPN service is the TunnelBear. The name of TunnelBear relates to the common analogy of a VPN is being used like a tunnel through the internet from your PC to a remote network or a server. The difference between the free and the paid subscription service are mostly concerned with the data allocation, just like private tunnel. The free service gives you 500 meg per month, although you can request an increase to a 1 gig via Twitter, so they say. The fourth free VPN service is called Spotflux Lite. Although it offers a VPN client that runs on your computer like all the other services we've, uh, we've seen, Spotflux Lite is also available as an add-on for Google Chrome. This means that it will operate when you're browsing, but not in other internet-related applications including Skype, for example, for which the VPN approach isn't recommended. As a result, you don't have to run your VPN connection on and off as you switch between applications. There is also an iOS version for Spotflux, just as there is with CyberGhost, that isn't accessible to users of the Lite version. When you first install Spotflux Lite, you'll get a three-day trial of the premium service which additionally offers phishing protection and an ad blocker. Please note, the company is only offering servers in the United States, although there are talks to offer the same service to other countries.